They're called Chakura, Swahili for street children. And in Nairobi, there are tens of thousands of them, rejected by society and ignored by the authorities. With nowhere to turn, they form their own community with its own set of rules. It's like a, a society with norms and regulation. And that society, there's a leader who, tell, who asks each and every one, what have you brought? So being a street girl, the challenge is that street girl has to prostitute, that she's being used to get money. The Rescue Dada Center was opened in 1992 with the aim of rescuing 70 girls from the streets each year. Around one third are victims of sexual abuse. 15-year-old Gladys spent two years on the streets in Nairobi after losing both her parents. There are some of the big boys who could forcibly grab the girls. Like there is this girl, a friend of mine, who was raped. Word went around that she had died, but it was not the case. The centre offers psychological help, education, drug rehabilitation and, where possible, reunites the children with their families. But it's not always easy to break free from the streets. If you find those who are running away from such centres, they're not escaping it because it's a bad place. They're escaping because you find most of them are craving to sniff glue. NGOs estimate that there are around 300,000 street children in Kenya, with more than 60,000 in Nairobi alone. Poverty forces many onto the streets to beg, others are escaping violent homes or have parents who've died of AIDS. The Dada Centre says its efforts are a mere drop in the ocean. Most of these children have no help and must struggle to survive on their own.